Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here today with my lovely cup of coffee and we're not gonna do a tutorial today, but I did wanna sit down and chat with all of you guys about what to expect as far as being a client going into the salon and kind of what the salon experience looks like right now during COVID-19, coronavirus, whatever you wanna call it, a hoax, pandemic, whatever it may be. The point of this video is going to be information to help you feel a little bit more comfortable going into the salon and how your experience is going to be. I just wanna share information that will allow you to feel more comfortable if you haven't stepped into a salon yet and kind of what to expect, but also if you really do truly care about your hairstylist, basically information on kind of what they're going through right now and how you can help make their job a little bit less stressful, a little bit easier, and a little bit more pleasant. <laughs> Grab yourself a drink or a snack. This shouldn't be too long, hopefully, but let's just dive right into information on what it's gonna be like when you go to get your hair done the next time you wanna do that. I wanna first off start off by saying everybody is different. Every stylist is gonna run their own business how they wanna run it, and especially during these times right now, everyone's opinion, comfort level, and just overall experience is going to be different. So the information I am providing you is how I personally am running my business currently. The salon that I work at, just to give you background story, it is a chair rental salon, so each of us do pay pay to work there. Then we provide our own products, color, all that kind of stuff. So we pay to work there. However, the salon that I work at, being chair rental, we still as a whole try to have our policies and procedures pretty much the same because from an outsider's perspective, they look at the salon that I work at as a non-chair rental salon, you know, more that's kind of run typically, you know, everyone's treated the same as far as policies and procedures, even though each individual one of us is our own business. First off, I will say out of all of this, my biggest thing, if you can take away just one thing from this entire video, it would be to have patience. Please, that's the main thing I ask of you during this time, is to just have patience with your stylist. For the majority of the country, hairstylists have been back to work for probably a month to six weeks now at this point, whereas in stricter areas like New York and California, they're just now starting that process to reopen. So if you live in those areas, or really anywhere for that matter, even if your stylist maybe has been back to work for a month now already, please, please, please just have patience with them. This is uncharted territories that we have never been through and we already have strict cleaning and sanitation guidelines, but now there's just a whole nother added layer to that and it's different. So that's the biggest thing I ask of you is to please be patient. If you're waiting for your stylist to text you back or get back to you and maybe it's been a few days, honestly, it would not hurt to just send another message. Be very kind and just say, hey, I know you're busy, but I'm looking to schedule, but just reminding you that I'm waiting to hear back from you because I'll be honest, I missed a couple people. And for me personally, I had a lot of personal stuff going on at the same time of rebooking clients and that kind of stuff. So it's gonna happen. You know, you're gonna miss people or you're gonna say, I'll get back to you. And then somebody calls you, something happens, and then days go by and you completely space it. So don't feel bad if you have to message your stylist just another time to remind them like, hey, I wanna be on your wait list. I know you're busy, but just, just a reminder because we need the extra help right now because it's one thing to have our list of clients that we're going through but it's like we're human we make mistakes too and sometimes it really is just oops i completely forgot let me see where i can get you in and get you scheduled as far as the overall salon experience it's going to be different and this is where it, the information i'm going to give you is from my personal business and like how we're handling it at the salon that I work at. You are most likely not going to just be able to freely walk into the salon, sit at the waiting area and wait until your appointment like you used to. Now what you should expect is a completely different experience. Your stylist is going to try to do everything they can to make your experience still enjoyable and still a good time. 
However, it's gonna be different. For me, my clients, when they park at the salon, I ask them to text me or call the salon and let me know that they are there and they're ready. Wait until you are told to come in because the biggest thing right now that stylists are needing to do is the sanitation in between clients. So if you show up within that time frame when your stylist needs just that extra five minutes to make sure that their area, their chair, all of their tools are ready to go and clean for you, just text them or call and say, hey, I'm here. Let me know when you're ready for me. What we've been doing is if we're running behind or if we're not quite ready for that client to come in, we are saying, okay, that's great. We appreciate you're here but we are actually going to call you when we are ready for you to come inside. What this does is it limits the amount of people inside the building and whatever your beliefs are with all of this going on right now, the biggest thing that we can do is just limit interactions with large groups of people. If you can just wait in your car a couple of minutes for your stylist to get ready and prepared for you, it makes it a heck of a lot easier on us knowing our area is clean for you and it's been properly taken care of after that last guest. So then there's no even doubt whatsoever if we're gonna be spreading this type of stuff to each other. You get your text or your phone call, Hey, ready for you, come on in. Of course, we are asking for you to wear a mask. That to me is the easiest thing that we can do as a society to slow the spread down on this. No matter what your opinion is on this, to me, wearing a mask, the easiest thing we can do. And yes, you can still breathe in one, I promise. I wear one 10 hours a day usually, you'll be okay. Does it suck? Absolutely. Who wants to wear a mask? I feel terrible. I every day wish I could wear makeup. It's something that really is part of me, expressing myself with makeup. So have I had a hard time wearing a mask? Absolutely. It's been brutal, but it's all we can do right now. So please wear a mask. If you can't wear a mask, we are personally requiring a doctor's note. That's just how it's gonna be. Please keep that in mind. If you are against wearing a mask for whatever reason, too bad. So wear your mask, come in, please wait for instructions. I've been telling my clients kind of like a heads up of what they're gonna expect when they come in, which is kind of why I'm making this video. You'll come into the salon. We have a station right up front. And another thing that's really nice with texting or calling when you get there to give a, to get approval to come in is let's say another stylist has their client who literally just showed up and they're up front doing their check-in process. I can then alleviate having people standing up there by each other by just being like, okay, they're gonna be done. I'm gonna tell my client to come in in two minutes. And then that way, by the time they come in, that check-in station is cleared, ready to go. So you'll come in wearing your mask, We'll have you hand sanitize. I will hand you a clean pen because we are keeping track of, you know, pens that are clean and dirty and cleaning them and all that stuff. So you'll come in, you'll fill out a COVID-19 waiver form, which pretty much goes into questions if you've been around anyone sick, if you have any symptoms, if you yourself have been sick, how long ago it was, if you've traveled, how long ago was it that you traveled? I personally am asking that if you've been on an airplane, 14 day quarantine, or at least 14 days of not getting your hair done from that time. Everyone's handling that differently, but for me personally, if you've been on an airplane, I'm gonna ask that you wait 14 days to get your hair done. We are doing temperature checks, 100 or above, you'll be asked to reschedule and most likely recommended to just go get a COVID test at this point, what's it gonna hurt? So you will get your temperature check and sign the form and then we are asking you to go back to the restroom, wash your hands, and then we can get started. This whole check-in process is completely new. You need to understand that your stylist has added time now in between clients because of this new check-in process can take five to 10 minutes. Keep in mind that this whole check-in process with your temperature check and filling out the form, this takes time. And I know it's not the ideal situation to have to come in for just a simple haircut and get your temperature checked and fill out this form and wash your hands before you sit down. But it really is imperative to keep track of things and to keep the environment as clean and safe as possible. I just ask that you kind of come in with an open mind of being willing to just do whatever your stylist is asking of you because trust me, they don't wanna do these added steps when in the past you could literally walk in, say what's up, give a hug to your stylist, sit down in your chair, have your drink, have a snack, hang out, do all this stuff. And it, it's just a different environment now. So I just hope that out of this, you understand that the advice that I'm giving you and the information I'm telling you is to make it a more enjoyable experience 
for both the client and the stylist because it is going to be very different. And I just ask that you have an open mind and that just know and trust that what your stylist is asking you to do is for your safety and their safety because they are in contact with people every day and it's very important that they do these steps to keep themselves safe. Now, we are doing it to where that very first visit, you'll fill, you'll fill out that complete form and then visits after that, you will sign in and we'll temperature check and we'll ask you if you've traveled and do that kind of um, the same thing that we're doing on the form, but you won't have to fill out that form every time if you've done it that initial time, but we'll still address the same questions on that form to make sure that we're not providing services for people who are sick. Clean hair, please, 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 please shampoo your hair before coming in. I ask this only because it's just, it's something you don't even have to worry about. If you've got dirty hair, it's kind of one of those things where you're probably not gonna pass COVID on through your hair. I understand that. A lot of stylists are overbooked, stressed, and don't have a lot of time right now because of the extra steps at the beginning of the appointments and then the extra steps after the appointment to prepare for the next appointment. So with that being said, Men's haircuts especially right now, I'm not doing a lot of shampooing because of the fact that it's just a time, it's just added time. And the more we are able to get people in, get their service done and get them out, the less contact they have in the salon of either spreading the virus if they don't know they have it, but also time sitting there where they could possibly get it from somebody else who's in the salon. Coming in with clean shampooed Dry hair is very important. If you forget and you're getting a color, it's not that big of a deal because we are going to obviously shampoo the color out. However, I would ask that if you can at all possible, clean shampooed hair right now is just, make it easier on your stylist. Anything that you can do to make your stylist have an easier time right now, it's honestly gonna make your experience that much better. And I say that with like the most respect. Come alone. This is no longer the time where we can just bring a friend to a hair appointment. And if I'm being like really, really honest, who wants to bring a friend to a hair appointment anyway? For me, my coloring appointments take three hours. I mean, who wants to sit there with their friend for three hours when half the time they can't be by them and that kind of stuff, even pre-COVID? So especially now, one person per appointment, whoever is getting the service done, that's it, no one else. Wedding parties, that's completely changed. Now they literally are appointment by appointment, and if it's a young child, they can come in with one parent. Really limit it to just you. It's no longer this social time, have fun, it's you and your stylist. Don't touch anything. At first I was gonna say don't touch retail, but let's be honest, just don't touch anything. When you go into the salon, don't set your bag down on the counter and a drink, first off, don't bring a drink. But don't set your bag down here, your phone down here, your keys down here. Limit what you bring into the salon. Don't set anything down anywhere unless you're told to or you have a specific spot. For me personally, I have like a little cubby on the left side of my station that my guests are always able to put their stuff in and I clean that down regularly. So come in with very minimal things. Right now we don't have a waiting area or magazines so it's kind of like bring your form of payment your keys and your phone is pretty much what we're asking people to bring in when it comes to retail like I said don't touch anything in the salon that you don't have to come in contact with because it's just gonna be a lot easier for the stylist and the staff of the salon to keep it clean and everything just know that it's not got germs all over it and then same with retail if you are interested in products or anything like that don't just go up and grab it most salons we have signs that say to grab somebody that works Works there but let your stylist grab the products for you and kind of lead you through as far as anything that needs to be touched you know my form of payments I have my own chip reader that I allow people to put their card into then they can choose their tip on my phone and then I wipe my phone down after each guest and lastly I just want to touch on the whole mask topic I know it's a tricky subject because everyone has their opinions and science this science that da 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 it became this big political thing for God knows what reason one thing I ask, don't complain, please. Just don't complain about wearing your mask because you know what? The person that you're complaining to has to wear it for eight to 10, 12 hours a day, every day at work. So just don't complain about it. It sucks, it, we all know it sucks. And most people, I'm not gonna lie, when they sit in my chair, they don't have a mask that fits them properly because of the fact that they don't wear one outside of like getting their hair done. And I get it, 
Not everyone's gonna wear a mask to the grocery store. Not everyone's gonna wear a mask to go and get gas. Not everyone's gonna wear a mask to run in quick to a pharmacy, you know? I personally, I wear a mask everywhere. Uh, that's my personal opinion. However, complaining about it isn't gonna change the situation. And not only that, the person you're complaining to has heard probably four people complain about it before you. That same day, every day, all day. I'm not saying all of my clients complain about it. I'm not saying, you know, that I'm complaining about my clients, com my clients complaining about it. I'm just putting it out there that if you're gonna complain about something in your life, maybe make it about something else other than the mask because your stylist has heard it over and over and over again. And especially before you go and get your hair done, make sure you have a mask that properly fits because I it just breaks my heart to see some of my color clients like come in with a mask that doesn't properly fit them, knowing that they're literally gonna have to sit there wearing that mask for two to three hours. And trust me, my ears are sore. I get it, but when you have a mask that's too small and it's literally like ripping your ears forward, you're not gonna have an enjoyable experience no matter if it's 20 minutes or three hours. It's just gonna suck. So then that's gonna prompt you to probably wanna complain about it. My biggest tip is to find a mask ahead of time that's gonna fit you properly. It's not gonna extremely bother your ears. Make sure it's an ear loop mask because we cannot do your hair when it's tied on your hair and make sure it fits properly and also know that you're probably gonna get color on it if it's a color service. Make it one that's maybe dedicated just to your color appointments so you don't care what it looks like or also just get a surgical mask that you can throw away after you get your hair done, which I also provide those if my clients need it. Obviously you will have to pay for it, but it is an option. I know the mask thing is a very touchy subject for whatever reason, but I just wanna say we should be thankful to get our hair done and if wearing a mask is what we can do right now to help slow the spread of this, whether you believe it does it actually work or not, just don't complain about wearing one if the salon you're going to is requiring you to wear one because your stylist has heard it over and over again. Or if they haven't heard it from their clients, they're overhearing it from their stylist next to them's clients. It's just, it's not fun for anyone. I don't know how to like sugarcoat it or make it seem fluffier and nicer. I don't wanna hurt anyone's feelings. Please refrain from doing that. But it's okay if you do. It's, if we're all human and I get it, but we're Wearing a mask is not that difficult. It's not that big of a deal. I have severe anxiety and it triggers it every time I put it on, but I'm finding a way to work through it and, and just have a little bit more compassion and a little bit more perspective on things. With that being said, the biggest thing I hope you guys can just take away from this is just have an open communication with your stylist on what their expectations are from you and try and do your best to just adhere to them. You know, no food or beverage in the salon because you have a mask on. Save your time of your snack and your your beverages outside of that. I know it's fun to get your hair done and have a glass of wine. Everyone's gonna miss that experience, but for the time being, it's gonna be, you're gonna come in, you're gonna get your hair done, and you're gonna feel great, and you're gonna go on your way, and you're hopefully gonna leave that environment and not have to even worry about getting sick or passing a sickness on to anyone else. And that's ultimately what I want out of all this, is for people to be able to responsibly get their hair done and understand that this is just kind of a little bit of input on how I am handling this situation as a hairstylist during a pandemic just really doing my best to keep people safe and it's been a lot mentally to handle and just know that your stylist is probably pretty happy to be back but also probably pretty stressed out right now and exhausted and tired and just drained from the topic and so just please have compassion and patience and an understanding that this is just different right now and we're doing our best and we're really doing our best to make the experience how it should be for you guys and just a great experience of catching up with your hairstylist who you might be friends with and have a relationship with and they're just as excited to see you as you are but we really I just please ask that you just follow what they're asking and don't complain about it and just have an open mind when it comes to the experience because it's gonna be different. Also a heads up that your ticket might be a higher, higher dollar amount right now. If you haven't gotten your hair colored in a few months, your stylist is gonna require more product and so there's gonna be probably charges associated with that. And then also depending on what type of, I guess what type of protocols they're using, if they're using disposable capes or that type of stuff, you might actually have a COVID-19 fee on your ticket because of these added precautions they're having to take. So if you have questions about that, I recommend just having an honest conversation with your stylist on what to expect as far as charges and protocols. But this 
should hopefully give you guys a better idea on kind of just in general what to expect and I hope you're excited to go and get your hair done but I do ask that you do it responsibly and of course I'm always going to advocate for mask wearing um in my opinion what's one summer of kind of just laying low and uh not being as social you know one summer we can all take a break right just let's cool it for a little bit, let's chill at home, let's have an outdoor barbecue. But I just ask that you all um, try and be as responsible as you can and just keep in mind that your hairstylist themselves or their loved ones might, you know, have a health condition that if they get this, it could be very, 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 very bad for them. So I just hope that people can respect that and just kind of go with the flow when it comes to really anywhere, going to a restaurant, going to a store. If you're being asked to wear a mask, or social distance or wait in your car or anything I feel like we should all just be really willing to comply right now and not put up a fuss because being selfless right now is gonna be what really catapults us and helps us get through this if we can all just do what needs to be done for the greater good that's just my two cents I'm gonna leave it at that please leave me any messages or comments down below if you have any thoughts or things to add to this and obviously if you have any questions on anything to do with this definitely reach out to me because I would love to be able to answer any of those questions for you if you need like a further explanation or something I just kind of wanted to give you guys a generalized idea of kind of what it's like in the salon right now as far as being a client and going in and what you can do to really help your stylist and just make it a heck of a lot easier for them so with that being said I hope you guys are doing well and all this craziness make sure you take time to just focus on you take a step back from what's going on in the world and just breathe and I will see you in the next one bye